you have a ton of fresh strawberries laying around, then today's recipe is for you. I am making a strawberry pie with fresh berries and a from scratch pie crust and whipped cream. This is one of my favorite summer pie recipes. It's super easy, no jello or gelatin, just stuff you have in your pantry. Super delicious, you're not gonna wanna miss it. Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and welcome back to my kitchen. Today it's all about strawberry pie. A fresh strawberry pie with my all butter pie crust and fresh berries. Um, I'm going to, you cook some of the berries down and that pectin in that fruit um, makes it nice and thick and that's what's gonna be the filler of our pie. Um, and then it's topped with fresh whipped cream. It's delicious, you're, you're gonna love this recipe. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. Okay, three components to this pie recipe. The crust, the filling, and then the nice fresh whipped cream topping. So I have a whole video on making my all butter pie crust, which I will link up here, so you can watch that for more details. But this is just an all butter, simple crust. I use a food processor to make it super simple and easy. Um, you can also use a refrigerated crust from a pack of two at the store or a frozen crust, whatever you want. Um, when you're making strawberry pie, it has a pre-baked pie shell. So you're going to want to um, make your crust and pre-bake it and let it cool before you do the filling. So um, you can, again, get it from the store, use my recipe. I have all the tips and tricks up in, up in that video. We're gonna start off our pie filling with two pounds of fresh berries. Now I'm gonna pull out about eight to 10 ounces of berries. Um, it's two cups if you slice it, but like just go ahead and pull out about eight to 10 ounces of them. Go ahead and slice them. Um, you don't have to slice them small, just cut off the tops and hold them a little bit. And then you're gonna put them in a bowl and use a potato masher to mash them. So mash them nice and fine. Um, then we're going to make the filling with, this, with the crushed berries with some cornstarch and sugar. So let's get to the stove to do that. Once you have your mashed berries, add one cup of granulated sugar, three tablespoons of cornstarch, and then stir it together and add one third of a cup of water. You're gonna stir that together and cook um, over medium, medium low heat, stirring often until it gets nice and thick. Now, once you have that pie filling, we need to let it cool completely before we assemble our pie. So you can let it sit on the counter, put it in the refrigerator for a few hours to cool. You can even make this the night before. Um, it's totally easy because strawberry pie is best like fresh within a day or so if it's made. It does tend to weep after a day or so and get soggy. So I like to make all of, assemble all of my things, my crust and my filling and all that day one and then on day two in the morning I just assemble it and then that evening we enjoy it. So um, you can totally make the filling the day before. Once you have your cooled filling, it's time to assemble your pie. So I'm going to slice up what's rest of that two pounds of strawberries um, into bite-sized pieces and then I'm gonna mix that with all of that strawberry pie filling. Stir those fresh strawberries into that cooked strawberry puree that's been cooled until it's nice and coated and add it to my pie crust and that's it. I mean, your pie is basically done. I do recommend chilling this for at least an hour just to let it set and let all the flavors meld and let that um, fruit filling come to kind of solidify a little bit. Um, it'll slice up nice and smooth and then before serving, top it with a nice fresh whipped cream. I'm linking the whipped cream video so you can learn how to make it. Once you're done, you have a delicious homemade fresh strawberry pie recipe. This is absolutely, it's so pretty. Um, it has tons of fresh berries in here and it's like nice sweet filling, uh, the nice buttery crust and the whipped cream. It all really, really goes really well together. This is a great way to use up all those strawberries that you went strawberry picking for or when they're on sale at the grocery store. Let's slice and have a bite of this. But everyone will love this pie. I 100% promise that it works every time. You're going to absolutely love it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite thing to do with fresh strawberries is and keep watching for even more pie recipes.